In this video lesson, we will learn how to solve systems of linear equations. First, what exactly do we mean by a system of linear equations? Well, before we had just ordinary linear equations, and these could look like 2x minus 1 equals 7, or another example could be 3x plus 2 equals negative x plus 5. And what both of these equations have in common is that they each have one variable. That variable is x. A system of linear equations, instead of just having one variable, has two variables. In addition, instead of just one equation, you're given two and both of them have to be true at the same time. So we have the variables x and y. And these two equations are linked. And the reason we know that is because of the bracket that we have put to their left. So they both have to be true at the same time. And our job is to find what x and y are. So we're going to solve this example. Let's clean up and rewrite it more clearly on top of the board. 2y minus 1 equals x plus 2, and y plus 3 equals x minus 1. We're going to solve this equation using what's called the substitution method. And again, I'm highlighting that the bracket means that both of these equations have to be true at the same time. So the substitution method takes one variable and you have to solve for it from one of the equations. So we're going to take just the first equation, 2y minus 1 equals x plus 2. We'll rewrite it here under the substitution method. And we're going to solve for x. So to do that, all we have to do is subtract 2 on both sides. And we'll get 2y minus 1 minus 2 equals x plus 2 minus 2. And this simplifies to just 2y minus 3 equals x. Now that's not a number, but now that we know what x is in terms of y, we can plug that into the second equation instead of the x. So when we do that, the second equation turns into y plus 3 equals 2y or x minus 1, but we replace the x and we get 2y minus 3 minus 1. So now we have just one equation and one variable. This variable is y. And we know how to solve these already. We just isolate the variable. So for a start, we're going to subtract 3 on both sides. So our equation is going to simplify to just y equals to 2y minus 7. So now we want all the y's on one side of the equation. So we subtract 2y on both sides and we get y minus 2y is equal to 2y minus 7 minus 2y. And of course this is going to simplify to just negative y equals negative 7. So that means that y equals 7. So we found out what y equals to, and I'm going to write it off to the side here. All we need now is x. Well, that's actually pretty easy now. We can just plug y into one of the equations, 
and simplify. So for example, we know that y plus 3 equals x minus 1 from the second equation. If we plug in 7 instead of y, you get 7 plus 3 equals x minus 1. Well, this solves pretty easily for just x equals 11. So we know that the solution to this system of equations is just x equals 11 and y equals 7. So now that we have the answers, it's worthwhile to plug them into our equations and see if it's right. So with our first equation is 2y minus 1 equals x plus 2. So let's plug in x equals 11 and y equals 7. So here I've plugged them in. We get 14 minus 1 equals 13, or 13 equals 13. This is true. So that's good. One of the two equations is known to be true. So what if we plug it into the second equation? y plus 3 equals x minus 1. Well, 7 plus 3 equals 11 minus 1 is the same as 10 equals 10, which is also true. So we know that our answer indeed works. Thank you for watching this video lecture.